What we want to do tonight is talk about the process of photography, taking the time to really respect what you're doing with photography. Everything from when you push the button to when you see the image. I didn't think I had a creative bone in my body. I was in Europe kind of just like found art and I found sort of this creative sort of spark. I started out as a ballerina for the first half of my life. That movement really influenced me to capture that emotion that I developed at such an early age. Education shouldn't be seen as academic. Um, with photography, it's such an accessible art form, which is really great, but it's also really easy to forget to keep learning and to keep thinking about things that you're seeing, which is so important. All this is part of the educational process. I'm very grateful for the education that I did get, and I think that process was really important in the beginning stages, but however, it did reach its limit, and I think the, f the freedom of, of being able to um, be out there on my own and fail a few times and, and learn from my mistakes, learn from the real world, I learned so much more. It, your inspiration can come from so many different places. If you're interested in photography, it doesn't mean that you should only look at photography books. You can study law, but then still be interested in photography. Like there's, there's really no limit. There's no right or wrong way. A lot of work and a lot of learning and understanding comes from being put in a position where you are not comfortable. For myself, in terms of inspiration, I really love running up to that line of um, gratuitous and just stopping right before. In terms of feeling, I think I, I draw a lot of inspiration from emotion. The broader the range of emotions, the more you can pull from to recreate. For a long time, I let fear stop me from seeking um, any opportunity out there in photography. Um, but I soon learned that fear is what was driving me to keep going, to keep uh, trying, to keep failing, to keep experimenting. And I think if you understand how to motivate yourself off of that drive, uh, you, you can produce some really powerful stuff. There's no really right or wrong, but if you're creating art and photography just for yourself, then you'll never have the influence or impact of other people and what that will give back to it. Leaving things to, to it up to interpretation in photography is a really strong tool that everyone will take something different away from the exact same image. We live in such a, a fast digital world that things are moving around us so quickly that it's really important to take those regular breaks yourself to slow down and sit with your work. Maybe you look at something that you shot five years ago or the first thing you shot and see kind of how you've developed, how you've changed. Maybe you'll see something differently. Challenge is really important in learning. Never throw out your mistakes or never think that you have a bad photo because at some point you might come back to it. Nothing has to be so perfect and that's part of the, that's part of the beauty of photography is that it's up to interpretation. 